Hi, I'm back here in Annapolis a couple of weeks after the boat show. Uh, when we were last here, Matt from Sailrite and myself worked on the repair of my mainsail, repairing the batten pocket, which was the trickier part of the job. Uh, now that we're back, we're going to complete the repair. What is going to be involved here, we're going to have to repair the actual leech of the sail where some cloth was torn off when the batten pocket came off. So we're going to repair that with some adhesive sail tape. From that point, what we're going to then do is baste down the the um, some some double-faced adhesive tape, and we are going to put a leech pocket over top of it, and then we will then sew that down using a lock stitch on the machine. It's a straight stitch, and it's fortunate this is a fairly simple job because I have very minimal experience with this machine beyond the uh, the teaching that Matt gave me at the sailboat show. The first step of what we're going to do here is we're going to repair the leech line. As you can see, it's torn here from when the batten pocket tore away from the sail. And what we're going to do, what we're going to use to do this, is actual sail repair tape, the same as if you had a tear in your sail. And the purpose of this is going to be to create a new section of cloth along here, to which we'll then sew the leech tape. So here we go. You're going to want to overlap this a little bit, just the same as you would when you're sewing. And you want to get a good, solid adhesive here. There we go. So we've got that started. And at the other end of the table, I have Kathy who's giving me a hand keeping the sail taut by pulling it tight. And then we'll use the actual line of the board on this picnic table as our gauge to make sure that we keep things relatively even. I'm just going to try and do a few inches at a time, maybe six inches at a time, so that I get a good, solid connection between the old tape, or the old sail, and the new tape. Even though this is going to be sewn down, you still don't want it flopping and coming loose. There we go. I'm going to have to move around the side here. Okay, so we're just going to keep laying this down, laying this down, and then we'll once we've got it in position, we'll rub it down so that it's on there good and firmly. Now, we don't have to worry about this being super, super accurate because this is my spare mainsail and I'm not too fussed about the final appearance of it. It's, I'm more interested in the fact that it'll work when I need it. There we go. So that's, we're down to the end there. Okay, and now, using the edge of a pair of scissors, we just rub it down good and hard in the cloth. Because the tape is adhesive and I don't want it interfering with the leech line in use, I'm taking the, the sail tape and I'm going to run it on the back side to pick up the adhesive. This is also going to help improve the repair by stabilizing this torn piece of cloth a little bit further. So I'm going to bring this all the way back, get it nice and taut on this end, and then what I'll do is I will reach across, I will have my assistant reach across and hand me the tape go now if you'll just put that down that's it okay start from there that's it okay put it down flat now smooth it along that's it that's the way a little bit at a time I'll keep it I'll keep holding it tight and you smooth it down that's it that's the way and we just keep bringing it towards us till we're where we need to be good that's it keep it coming that's about as far as you're gonna be able to go we don't need to worry about any ripples in here because of course the the pocket the leech pocket is going to cover that and eliminate that problem for us and then when we're done this section of the repair we'll of course rub it down to make certain that it stays on good and strongly and there we go that's the second section done could you hand me the scissors please thank you and we'll overlap just a little bit there we go. There'll be some tidying up that needs to be done here at the batten pocket and a bit later on and some hand sewing, but that's all just part and parcel of the job. All right, and then we'll just rub it down again. The edge of your scissors is a, an excellent tool for doing that. The next stage in this repair is going to be to take the luff tape and get it into position where we're going to be doing our repair. And then we're going to fix it in place using a double-sided basting tape and then once that's done we will sew it. So what we'll first do is we'll slide the tape into position here. That 
that's good. Okay, using the two-sided basting tape will fit this down. This stuff is nice and easy to use. It makes the job much, much simpler. And then of course, when you complete the job, you just sew right over the stuff. There we go. As you can see, this job would not be impossible single-handed, but it's certainly a great deal easier when you have help. There we go. We'll just smooth this all the way down along the tape. That's it. I want to try and keep it somewhat straight. There we go. Now we just peel off the adhesive backing, and then we will just attach this side of the luff tape to the sail proper. Now, can you pull the sail down your way a bit, please? Thank you. So we'll slide it into position. Pull it tight, please. That's it. Get the crease right up against the edge of the new fresh edge of the sail that we've created. And you can see now I wanted that to be straight. We tuck the leech line inside it. And then moving along, we just baste down. I'm beginning to sound like my mother, for heaven's sake. We baste down the luff tape. And you can see how the sail is, this, the repair is beginning to take shape as we work our way along here. We have lots of fresh new cloth here to give us strength. We're going to be sewing it down along here. And the luff line, the leech line, excuse me, is now inside where it belongs. And what I'm doing is I've taken care to make sure that this outside edge here is right tucked up against the sail, against the new cloth that we created with the repair tape. That's it. Almost there. The big thing is to make sure that you're as tight as you can be. There we go. And that your leech line is tucked inside where it belongs. As you can see, looking at the cloth, we've got lots of fresh new cloth there. Our next step is going to be to turn the edge of the sail over and add basting tape to the back side, the other side I should say, of our, of our luff tape. And once that's done, we will then be able to commence sewing. Just get the basting tape down. Kathy, if you'd take it, please, and keep it working the rest of the way. One of the nice things is that you don't have to do the entire length of the sail in one shot. You can do it in segments and work with comfortable lengths of sail, depending on your ability. Um, as I've already mentioned, my ability is pretty low. By the way, Sailrite uh, has got excellent videos online for you to be able to look and see exactly what it is you're supposed to be doing on, on these kinds of repairs. And their managers and, and staff are always willing to lend a hand. So again, we'll finish putting on the tape, the double-sided tape, all the way to the end there. And then we can finish attaching the luff tape. There we go. All set and off it comes. I think the toughest part of this whole job is taking this adhesive backing off. There we go, we got it. Now at this stage of the game, you want to be sure that you don't get your luff rope on the wrong side of the tape that you've already put in. And again, making sure that it's tight, nice and tight up against the edge of the sail. In we go. Almost there. Challenge there. Can you get that right in tight? That's it. And there. Again, like it does, we've got a little bit of a bubble there, but that doesn't matter because we're going to be sewing this down anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's the basting tape that's there. And we're now ready to sew.